and I've uh, we asked people from around our school from different um, backgrounds different ages different um, subjects that they specialize in and we asked them the question what would you expect to see from a psychological thriller and here are their responses I think from a thriller movie, um, I'd expect. I'm feeling like more like sociopath, like not really talking to anyone. Perhaps a vulnerable character that's then taken advantage of. That's always a typical plot. I'd expect it to be quite dark. I'd expect it to be like with blue hues. Like a dark and dingy environment. I'd expect it to be quite a young cast. If it's supposed to be relatable to our generation, something that we don't understand as an audience a concept which isn't often explored. I feel like that needs to be done. It's the suspense and not knowing what's happening, like the slight confusion. Stereotypically it's a male stalker. If it was a female stalker that might spice things up a bit. <laughs> the end of it would leave you hanging. Not necessarily leave you hanging but it would leave you with thinking and not with like symbolic images. A character who might be more vulnerable than others like Maybe like satanic, I don't know. A um, plot twist, maybe near the end, so it'd be something that you wouldn't be expecting to happen at the end. I would expect lots of um, lots of like sort of jump scares, mind games, and you want to scare the audience as well as disturb the equilibrium in uh, in the audience, like in the actual film. More subtle drama, I think, than like a an obvious horror. Maybe a couple of jump cuts, eerie or creepy storyline. Which is more like jumpy, I think. It's more subtle and like gets into your head more, I guess. Gets you thinking more. So, emotion. Uh, uh, <laughs> slow pace. Fast pace. What else is that from a psychological thriller? Got an audio. Uh, <laughs> God, this is embarrassing. You put me on the spot. <laughs> that was a great blooper.